go ahead and create a new file orientation it doesn't matter and the title of your file will be your name type and then create now go on to the toolbar and find T which is tool type tool and then click on the artboard type in graphic design and highlight it and change the font style and size you can directly type in the number to change the size or you can just click on the arrow right next to it go to selection tool and click the entire letters and then create outline what it does is now it's not a text anymore it's actually turned it into an object with anchor points so you can individually change and modify the shapes of this letter so illustrator doesn't read it as a letter anymore it's just a shape with lots of anchor points so go ahead and modify individual anchor points or line segments to design just pick random parts of the letter elongated or make it larger this tool really helps you create something really creative in terms of type and then you can even go ahead change the color of each letter too in order for you to make a new into one shape you can use the shape builder tool and then click on the eyedropper tool to pick the same color for D and G pay attention to what the eyedropper tool does it picks up the color existing color right there you click on G now the R A P H I C changes into a color and we switched the stroke and fill color go to direct selection tool choose the letters and then go to selection tool to group them and then you change color with the eyedropper tool to learn about type on path tool you first have to create a path so click on pen tool click click and drag and click and drag to make the line or path curvy now you want to get rid of the fill double click or click on the dash and then go type on path tool on the type tool and then click on the first line and then you see the letters are automatically filling in now you can type it in Huron high school graphic design to fill the whole path you can change the size to fill the whole thing yep or you can make the line longer either way when you're doing that you need direct selection tool to make the line longer so that's how you create a line on a path so type on path tool now we're going to experiment with the area type tool so first of all we need to make the area which means a shape so you're going to go to polygonal tool which is rectangular tool or ellipse tool on your toolbar click on it for two seconds and you'll see a lot more options and then create a shape and then go to type on path tool and then start typing in so you notice the typing you i mean the typing fills the shape that you created and you can change the alignment to fit the more or if you make the smaller letters it'll fit more into the shape let's say if you have a heart shape um, it'll feel like a heart shape any shape you create with the anchor point it's going to fill that shape with letters
and then you click on it to change color highlight everything by double click and then choose a color you like and click OK now the letters are green